guys, so in today's video I am going to be filming a Primark haul which I've been wanting to film for a very long time. I brought these clothes, uh, I don't know, like two weeks ago maybe, something like that anyway. And um, yeah, some of them have been worn but it's taken me a while to get around to filming this. Um, it's not a very big haul and I may have brought baby stuff. But I just wanted to film it anyway because they are like, my favourite videos to watch and I love Primark. So um, first I'm going to show you is this. It's a um, just a men's um, long sleeved kind of baseball top maybe. I don't know what they're called. Um, but I really liked it. It's, I caught it. It caught my eye and um, I was like yeah I need it. It looks lush. So I brought it and it's nice and long on the sleeves and it's nice and baggy everywhere and it was only a fiver. So I had to pick it up and I love it and it's been probably one of my most worn items of clothing since having it. <laughs> so um, I'll leave all the baby stuff till the end. I've already hung these, that's why they're on hangers, so like, don't be confused or anything. But I brought some leggings because... My tops that I have been buying are really long, so, I, you know, why not wear leggings? And I wear leggings anyway because they're comfortable as fucking anything. So, leggings, leggings, leggings. Um, but I have brought these in a bigger size because weight gain. Um, and I just got your standard black and blue pair. Um, I already own a fair amount of leggings. So, these are yet to be worn. And kind of gonna wear them soon because I can't be bothered to do the washing. Um, I brought this shirt, it's a men's shirt, it's a nice checkered, um, just loungy about shirt in red and black and this costs £7 and I also got one in blue um, but they are super long, I got them super big again just so I can throw them on with anything and over anything. Um, and I really like it because the sleeves can be loosened, so you can roll them up and make them shorter if it's quite hot. But in the UK it isn't. So, there's the red one, and here is the blue one, which I've already worn as well. So, um, But yeah, this is blue, white and grey, and it has bits of yellow in, which I don't know if you can see. Um, but yeah, I really like this one as well. They're super comfy and so soft, and I paid 7 quid for it again. And yeah, I think sh just like throw over shirts like these are like staple in anyone's wardrobe. Like they're just so effortless and I think they look amazing. So the main reason I went to Primark was because my clothes are getting too small. So I needed some bigger clothes. So I went to their t-shirts and picked up just a fair few basic t-shirts just for a couple quid because I know as soon as June's gone... Um, hopefully I'll be going back into my smaller clothes um, but I just picked up a t-shirt and this one looks like pyjamas so really I do love it and it says always be unique this inner 12 just for baby bump and stuff and it has a cat with a unicorn um, so yeah I really like that I also got this one which is in a size 12 again it's just white with loads of flowers and birds it's really pretty I love the pattern on this and um, yeah they're all quite long on me so I do really like it and they feel super super soft again um, Primark never fails to give me a soft t-shirt I feel like I'm always happy with a t-shirt from Primark um, I, get, I got this stripy top in case I need to kind of look a little more presentable than wearing like fun easy tops so I've got this black and white stripy top which I figured will look really nice when there's actually a nice round bump um this was slightly more expensive it was three pounds but again that's like so inexpensive and so cheap to buy and I thought this would look really nice um just with a jacket or like a cardi thrown over um and with like a nice pair of jeans or something so I got that and then I also got one of these t-shirts again in grey because I just I don't know I feel like I need loads of t-shirts because I've still my jumpers I've always bought jumpers in a way bigger size than what they need to be um so my jumpers are gonna fit me fine 
but I feel like t-shirts you need to wear a t-shirt under your jumper but you can also put a t-shirt on with a jacket and like just throw on a jacket and then when it gets too hot you can take your jacket off and that's why I went for uh, t-shirts <laughs> so I'm gonna go on to the baby things I brought as um, a little background behind why I've brought pink things and girly things is because my boyfriend but Dan is completely set on we're having a girl like he feels in his gut and everything that we're having a little girl so I've gone with his instinct because um, I really don't know and I brought not much but just like a few things so even if it's not a girl um, and you know it really won't be a much money lost at all um, but I got this Disney blanket which I think is going to be completely fine for whatever gender it is it's super soft and it costs six pounds so I thought I could use this, I would, but it's just got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of got these bumps as well and it's super big and it's kind of in grey. You've got grey on one side, white on the other and I really like this. I think it's very gender neutral um, and will work really well in a pram. Um, so yeah. I then got a pack of three muslin squares um, because I've been told having muslin squares is like your saviour. Like it's cheaper than baby wipes, it's like having a cloth all the time and they look nice and they're just so easy to wash and they're big and oh, I've just been told they're really good. So I just picked up this pack of three muslin cloths in just really basic patterns, girly patterns um, in pinks and these were £3.30. And then I also picked up these sleep suits and these are in the age 0 to 3 month and they are £6.50 and they look like this. Um, so yeah, I really, really do like these and I I think I'm going to be one of their mums that just like always puts my kid in sleep suits because if I was a baby I'd honestly want to be in a sleep suit, always. Um, and also I feel like you can never really have too many sleep suits. But what do I know? I'm a first time mum. Um, I also picked up this pack of three scratch mittens. They were only a pound. They're in white, so they're unisex again. And um, it just it stopped my baby from scratching itself because if it's anything like me, it's going to be crazy. Um, and last thing, oh, honestly, turning's becoming such. A, um, a task. I picked up these little shoes because I thought they were really cute. One's in gold and the other's in silver and they have really cute little bows and flowers on the front and they're in zero to three months and I just thought if we do have a little baby girl then I'll be able to buy like summer dresses and I don't know I think these are just oh, my heart broke when I saw them like I fell in love. <laughs> So yeah, that's everything I picked up for my Primark haul. Wasn't the biggest. Um, definitely wasn't the biggest, but it was like essentials. Like I needed this, apart from the baby stuff. Like, I don't need that yet. Um, but yeah, they were just essentials and I'm really happy with everything I brought. And it's Primark. Um, so yeah, if you want me to do more of these hauls, let me know because like, I'm not sure. I love watching other people's, but like I feel people would get bored of mine. Um, so I thought I'd film this anyway, and I'm looking forward to doing so many baby hauls with so many cute baby things. Um, I find out the gender of what I'm having on the 7th of February, so hopefully I can start buying clothes real soon. Um, but yeah, that was my primer haul. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have liked this and would like to see more of my videos, hit subscribe down below. And I'll switch all in my next video. Bye.